Out here at the Mount Sicker property, up there about 500 meters, running this way is the 911 zone. So here we have mineralization, you have schistose volcanics, quartz veining with pyrite, calcopyrite, magnetite. You can see this mineralized structure, the strike and dip roughly like this. And you have quartz veining running this way as well. So what we wanted to do is hammer a sample off. We found a, another area exposed. There's quartz there, quartz there, quartz down there, quartz here, quartz up there. But this area here we found some new mineralization. You can see this takes a turn here and goes that way. So, take a look at this. This is all magnetite in there. Sulfides, magnetite, calcopyrite and pyrite. Running all through here. This way, massive sulfides there. So what we're gonna do is pull off some samples and take a look. So here we have the first sample. Nicely mineralized. Second sample here, see that? Beautiful sulfides. Let's pull off some more. Got this big chunk here coming out. Let's take a look see all those sulfides in there. Looks like there might be some sphalerite and galena in there too. Look at that. Oh, is that ever beautiful. Look at the sulfides. Breaking out pieces. Got a whole bunch here. As you can see, loaded with magnetite, pyrite, calcopyrite, and it looks like a bit of sphalerite. Just a few of the samples here. Quartz meaning in here. Not bad samples. It looks like massive pods of magnetite with stringer mineralization Cutting through of pyrite, calcopyrite. 
spell right. Possibly remobilization of some of the sulfides. So, just a few of the samples. See, look at that massive magnetite there. Got more here. Another pod we've hammered out. Absolute gorgeous samples. Got more there. And this follows all the way back into here and up there. So some nice samples from a nice newly exposed area. So going up the road this way about 500 meters we got another showing. There's mineralization along the wall here. And right here, you see all the same staining here as you do going up all the way up this road about 500 meters. Mineralization here, as you can see, continuing all the way up. You can see the massive magnetite, 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 and your other sulfides. And again, you got your quartz veining up there, quartz veining right there. And it looks like you got more quartz veining and sulfides there. Continuing down here. You got more mineralization. Looks like a, a little bit different strike, but there's also quite a bit of folding here. And the rest of your bedrock matches the other stuff back there. Again, you have mineralization here, stringers. There's a sulfide vein there. Right here. You can see all the sulfides. And again, another one up here. And more sulfide veining there. More sulfide veining here. Sulfide stringers here, here, and here. And you have disseminated sulfides through here. More sulfide veining there. And this continues and you can see the strike of the bedrock turn back this way. We have more sulfide showings down there, a couple of them. And this is the ocean view showing. So, we found another sulfide showing here. Same strike. This one looks like it's mostly pyrotization in your schistose volcanics. Bedrock has the same strike though. About a meter wide of mineralization here. Running this way. Farther along down the road now, we have 
quartz vein, which is about 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters wide. Slightly off strike of those last ones, but the rock surrounding here looks like it's the same strike. See the mineralization, calcopyrite and pyrite in quartz. Got a few more samples here. Not abundant mineralization, but there's some calcopyrite and pyrite mineralizing the, the quartz. Another little showing here. I'll have to do some further exposing. So the first area we showed, remember all the orange staining here? Well, you have that all over here. Looks like there's some more sulfides up top there. But a lot of this rock is severely altered. And uh, there's some mineralization up there. Again, this is on strike of that first area. This is what the rock looks like. The layer of weathering on the outside. So this is the last area. You can see the similarities in the rock. You can see the magnetite there. So we have a showing that runs through the middle of the road over here. You can see the oxidation of the surface material here. It turns this way and comes up here. See the quartz veining and sulfides. You have calcopyrite, pyrite, magnetite, and a bit of pyrotite. So there's the quartz. See the schistose rock interwoven with the quartz vein. Good amount of calcopyrite in there. So this vein is about three quarters of a meter in width. And we're gonna get a quick sample off this. We have had this analyzed before and it was over 2% copper. We'll pull off a couple samples and show you a couple pieces here. Calcopyrite in there. Pyrite there. A few more pieces here. See the Pyrite and calcopyrite. So we've got a few nice samples here and another couple nice pieces here. So this zone, so far we've traced over a kilometer in length and showings pretty much follow the road. Last little piece we've hammered from this area. So, some good mineralization, good strike length of this so far. 
And uh, we've got another new zone to add to the books. Ocean View Copper Zone.